you want. You, are you coming back to the Westchester tomorrow? What up? So last night wasn't the best day for the blueberry lemon. Although we did get some tints, that's probably the only positive thing that happened. If you caught the last video, you saw I was leaking coolant like crazy, and then a random sound started to come from this vicinity. I unplugged the boost gauge and it went away. I just don't feel like there's a speaker here. Maybe it was touching something else which caused that random beeping to happen. But in today's video, I'm about to drive to Connecticut, which I'm not sure if that's the best idea seeing how I'm leaking coolant. I still have this with me though and the main objective is to honestly get a lot done like i said after fixing the squealing i wanted to have no mechanical issues which obviously isn't happening but i really want to just start tightening all of this up so today we're going to 100 percent install the radio i want to put this back on my dash so that can look complete i want to install the seat and see if we can maybe cut this and get that done i want to put the strut bar in the underglow might happen and might not, but I really just want to tighten all this up. So let's drive to Mendy. Let's pray for the best. Oh wait, the sound is back. Imagine that's just the sound for the door being open. No. Okay, so there's no way I'm driving over an hour with that sound. Again, I don't know where it's coming from. I could have swore it was this. All right, so it stopped. I don't want to say I fixed it because I did not, but I semi-diagnosed it when I put my blinker on. It comes back on, but then it doesn't. So I'm assuming it has something to do with my blinker. Don't know what it is. We're gonna figure it out though. Me, David, and Savi will be renting on the mirror today. Hopefully I can leave today with a lot of this all complete. We're, not, we're no longer gonna have all these wires exposed, those exposed, those exposed. And uh, yeah. Let's drive to Connecticut. All right, so we just got to mend the imports. Rally build. New addition for the whip. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh. New addition for the whip. It actually fits perfect. Like, imagine those. Should I cut the grill and put them there instead? Oh no, it's too big for the grill. Imagine though. Update on the Pajero. It's sold to somebody watching actually. Comment below. And then over here, we still have a bunch of stuff we need to do on Project Acti, guys. I don't know if you forgot or haven't really been speaking about it, but me and David are supposed to turn this into a camper. I ordered, no lie, maybe $2,000 in parts. I think those are the measurements actually right there. That's David's plan for the camper with all the measurements. And then I got LED stuff, I got exhaust, I got so many things that we need to do with this one. And then here's the Mendy Mobile and then the Serena that he recently picked up as you guys saw in the port video. And then we're actually going to drive over to Savi's. I think he's going to install an A Toto along with those rims. Found the fanboy life right here, bro. This is a new car to the Mendy Imports fleet. Yeah. He just traded the Terios Kid with all these wheels for this sweet van. Has AC, clock, tack. Has a nice floor mats too. These are pretty sought after, honestly. Really? Yeah. Oh, and it does have the mud flap too. And it does have the rear mud flap that people like a lot. No double sunroof, but headline is clean. Sounds like it drives good. Yeah, it's not bad. Has fog lights too, which is also nice. Horn works, four wheel drive. It is four wheel drive, right? Five speed. With fog lights, you said that? Yeah. With an unlock button that I didn't know was standard. Here's what the exterior looks like. Today's gonna be a very action-packed day. Cause I'm really here to work on the mirror, but 
We got a K trade oh, fog lights. with the bar too. Yeah, with the bar. Oh, LED lights, like running lights. Oh yeah, look. Doesn't have the step, which I don't mind though. I got an idea. Which what camper? No, I'll tell you afterwards. I All can't. Right. I can't just bolt that kind of information. All right. But yeah, it has the cool rear mud flap. This is for sale though, unless David has a crazy idea. How much? How much is it? How much is it for the video? Right now, it's sixty five hundred. You could have it. With title. With title. Oh, and this is cool. Comes with an Nardi wheel too. This is a cool Nardi wheel. Oh yeah, that is nice. That'll come with it on it. You know what's interesting? This one has door locks everywhere here, but not on the other door on the slider. It never does. Really? Yeah, no. I'm learning new things every day. Yeah, it never does. It even have like the hole for it. But let's see how this drives. You can keep going straight. Go straight? Or just yeah, go straight. No, go straight. We'll do the scenic route. Damn. Uh -huh. I gotta drive it like I'm a Honda. What are your thoughts? What are your first thoughts? First impressions? Um, could use a shifter kit. Can I turn here? No, keep going straight. All the way. But overall, solid. Does it make you miss your, your very nice one? My green one? Yeah. Nah. Really? Nah, I think my best man is always going to be the Bravo, but the Tom Box is very cool because it's turbo. Yeah. And Im being automatic, I don't mind. I don't imagine mind. this with the Honda Z engine, I think. Yeah, no, that'd be crazy. Once a, well, that's what the Vamos is pretty much. Yeah, that's true. A I gotta, turbo I gotta Vamos. I drive a turbo Vamos to see what that's But like. the turbo Vamos doesn't have this much room. I feel like it's squished really? forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the new Actis are very small. Nah, no, 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 new Actis are big, man. No, they're smaller. Nah, trust me. I sat in all of them. That, but when I was in Texas, that was the biggest one. Really? And the Samar was the smallest one out there, no? It drives good, though, honestly. Yeah, it does. I miss having a stick pan, I guess I'll do that. Yeah, the automatic's nice yeah, though, but we're, good. <laughs> we're about to roll forward. <laughs> there's a lot of room. I can't believe how much room. I feel like these are different like sliders. Like there's no way it's this one's room. I know. I, I don't. Oh yeah, these are aftermarket sliders. There's no way. No, no, no. No, there's no way. There's no way. No way. No way. No way. This is way too much room. Just got to do a nice light coat. Don't go crazy. Just let it take whatever it takes. And then that's it. And then let it we'll let it tack up we'll come back add a couple more change the angles and then we'll do a couple that's what i said it it may not feel like a lot but it should be good especially to clear it up make it look good you know leave it for like five minutes we'll come back spray some more yeah you gain like a quarter inch but if we remove these that's what i'm thinking if you remove the bushing it may give you a little bit more drop let me sit on that's a, looks a little better but i mean that's a lot but not a lot better see, but it's see. better so you go two inches this is where the this is where the cushion is yeah but i'm saying go go two two and a half inches right and then i get i think two inches would be the best bet well is you're gonna that? have a gap there though a big gap versus yeah that's okay though if you go two and a half you're only gonna the have only First time any imports has ever cut. Yeah, I just learned this on YouTube yesterday. Hey, YouTube is very resourceful. What are you doing? Just what dash? Four. Remember when we did the dash? The dash? Yeah. yeah. I think we cut it 30 times though. Just because we were like, let's make sure it's good. You know what I mean? so they're not sharp. I felt a lot right now. Too much. We gotta cut. No, that's good though. Listen, remember, like we wanted, that's why I said let's take, you know, take it off little by little so yeah. that we don't well, wreck leave it. Leave it right there. How do you feel about that? Move the camera back and show everybody. The box that big and the seat there. That's fine. But this is touching. You're saying to leave it or don't leave it? No, no, no. We're probably going to take a quarter inch off, right? Okay. Let's see. Yeah, no, maybe half an inch. Well, maybe no, half, half is too much. No, you want to know why?
Do you have the cleaning block? Is this OSHA approved? Uh, OSHA approved? Uh, I don't know. No OSHA. OSHA is not. <laughs> So we want it to be just like that, right? Yep. No turning back. JDM wood. It smells like JDM. It smells like we're back in Japan, bro. This is one of the biggest goals to get accomplished at Dad Bod Garage slash Mendy Imports. Damn. That's it. So what do we put here, though? I'm telling you, I think I just don't here. think a speaker makes sense. Flip drawer, man. Flip drawer. Yeah, I think a flip drawer. Stash drawer? Flip drawer, yeah. Yeah, a stash put, drawer to put, put in. JDM snacks in it when I get hungry. Hey, where's that shelf? Let me see that where's, shelf. My, where's my JDM snacks? He took them. <laughs> yeah, remember you opened them that day? I was yeah. like, oh. You could just do <laughs> this. Caddy corner? Like, mm -hmm. you know how people put st stuff on, like, um... Like shelving, like when you're at the convenience store, you could put your stuff. Update. David's applying the glue to the piece that goes back there. I'm installing this. We spray painted it black. No longer have that eyesore. A total's installed. Everything's good to go. And the beeping sound just came back. I needed to stay on so we could try to fix it. And the horn works. Back here. The leak is back there. Yeah, same in the front. Do that shit. Fucking one bar. Fucking. Update. Testing out the coolant. While well, David installs a radio in the midget, we have to take a guess what company. He told who. The problem is. Is I can't tell you if it's the manifold or the piece that goes into the manifold because it's in the back. Um, let me see if I find the also update on all this stuff. Finally, got this rear bumper off. I was going to put the new one back on, but I think I want to maybe drive to City Field and see if I can get an exhaust put on because I really want to get that done and then check this out. Big shout out to David. Big shout out to Savi. Big shout out to Mindy Imports, Dad Bod Garage. Go give them a follow. But tell me this doesn't look legit now. This, we're not going to talk about just yet. Because I got to figure out my whole speaker situation. But just focus on this. And this we have to figure out. I think I kind of want to put like a draw similar to like a glove box on this side. That way this could just be storage for like stickers or pins or just small things. Maybe I want to hand out to people. But essentially, when you walk up to the way for the Fame store, this is what you see. Some type of draw, someone sitting down, and then we also need to cover this up. Maybe put a speaker down there, cover all that up. And then I really don't hate this. I think David was saying that I have to do something about this, that it looks ugly, but I don't know, I don't mind it. I think that it's cool that it's magnetic. I could hang some stuff there. I'll do something. I don't really mind. Oh, um, right there. Found it. Right there. You see it? Oh, yeah. Right here? You see the little streak or no? Yeah, yeah. I see it. Right you here. see it pissing out? Yeah. But that's the rubber hose. Hold on a second. Right there. Nick, rubber hose isn't cool. I don't know why. All right. Good. Found it. Found it. So you see here? It goes from here, right? And it comes in to this T right here. Mm -hmm. This T. 
And then right down here where the T is connecting, this rubber hose, if you see it from your side right here, it's leaking all the way back here towards the bottom of the uh, intake. This rubber hose right here, this one, the one I'm touching. Yeah. That one. And it's leaking right here where I'm touching. See it right here, that wet spot right before the clamp? Mm -hmm. Right there, that's where you're leaking. So if so you keep your camera right there, yeah. and I'm going to give you some pressure. Ready? Wait, hold on. Yeah. See it? Uh, yeah, there yeah. it goes. Small little pressure, release the pressure. That's what it is. So I just need to find this hose then. There it is. That's the hole. Right there. That's where it was peeing from. I think this is pretty much the same. It looks a little bigger, but this one is also brand new. If anything, we can just clamp it down. But uh, yeah, hopefully this fixes the last issue on the blueberry lemon. Good, secured, I end up getting two different options just in case. And I have to say, this thing rips. Your favorite Honda fanboy back in a Honda street. No. It drives good. Does it? Yeah, it does really good. Damn. Doesn't it look so good? This is as OEM as possible right now. Yeah. The thing that sucks about mine is that it has this, like it's all cut. That's like, okay, because we can put a bezel. Maybe uh, Savi can 3D print you a bezel. Yeah, I need a bezel for mine to look like this. So People were saying in the comments that they like yours more. Really? Yeah, because of the thing in the back. The box in the back? Yeah. Oh, wow. It has this? Yeah. It has Mine both. doesn't have that. It's got both. Oh, wow. So you have three speakers. Yeah, I finally wired that one in, so I don't even know if it makes noise or not. Wow. I didn't know you had three. I didn't know you had door speakers in general. Yeah. Well, the panel. It looks really good. Right there. You see where it's at? Mm -hmm. 10, 11, 12. So I'm 13. Time check. Seven o'clock. Let's give it a few minutes and see if it stays on 13. If it does, we got no leaks. This whole thing, this is a pretty cool setup. So what you do is you fill it here. And then once you, once we know we're good, we're going to put your, uh, we'll let it run for a while. And it'll get all the air pockets out. It burps it basically is what it does. So two and one. Yep. So it's a nice little kit. Nice little, we use that at the dealership. Little bubbles out because the none of these will do anything because they're too far back and the thermostat hasn't opened. That's the thermostat one. So, what we'll do is see, let the bubbles come out, we'll do it by itself, and then we'll add it to here. Oh, you have some in there, Andy. Where's the level here? Can't even freaking tell. I, I think I'm kind of almost there. Yeah, you're, you're almost there. But so we don't waste it. We're still going to have some leaking. Nothing crazy. But. See? And then, can you see the line there? Yeah. Yeah. Let me know. We just. But, uh, so it's the next morning and yesterday was monumental for several reasons one and first and foremost if you're on my patreon you saw that about another car a non-k at that that's actually going to be shipped to jacksonville so if anyone in my patreon or anyone watching lives in jacksonville and they have a twig card and they could help me like escort me to the port so i can pull it out please message me on instagram or patreon preferably patreon because i would love to pay that person and i might even need to leave the car at your house for one or two days it's going to land around november 18th but patreon homies will get more information coming soon but yeah i bought another car which i think means 
most likely giveaway coming soon i think we're gonna run it back the first one sold out so quickly where i should run it back i mean so many people are saying run it back run it back run it back run it back a lot of people want the town box a lot of people want the cappuccino and again not that many people want the midget but you really you never know it only takes one person who wants a cash to the cash so let's see what happens with that but i think you guys are most likely watching this on the weekend maybe giveaway starts on monday you guys will find out in the future videos and then the forever k so all jokes aside i promise you i'm not just saying this to be funny i'm not just saying this for the content since i bought this car i've never felt like the proud owner i've always felt like that this was a piece of crap lemon i wouldn't say i had buyer's remorse because i knew that i was going to weather the storm i knew that eventually you know everything would go well i didn't know how much money how much headaches how annoying it would be to get there but after david after mendy imports after savi after dad bought garage really saved the day with cutting the box fixing the coolant line uh just helping me out with so many little things like david glued that back together we got the eight total finally installed all this put back together my horn works again while i was driving home yesterday from connecticut i was like you know what i am proud to say this is my car this is a reflection of way for the fame because i'm getting a lot of comments i mean i've been getting them since the beginning <laughs> it's funny i don't even have a bumper on but i've been getting a lot of comments since the beginning saying hey quit while you're ahead sell the car you know i've had lemons like this too i had project cars and I think what people, I think some people get it, some people don't get it. Like, I know this is obviously a car, but the goal isn't to build a very nice Daihatsu Mirror walkthrough car. The goal is to build a store. I want this to be a reflection of Way for the Fame. I want this to be a reflection of Nicolas Jimenez. That's why I keep calling it my Forever K. I want when people see this to instantly think of my YouTube channel, and I want to be able to go to pop-up shops, go to stores, go to big car meets, and use this $2,000 window that I bought, pop Pop this open and essentially this will be way before the fame.com so these beanies t-shirts plates japanese snacks whatever's on way for the fame.com will be sold right here so the goal really is let's say i'm into this car twenty thousand dollars at this point right the goal is to make twenty thousand dollars in a couple months or maybe one month or maybe just one amazing car show you know what i mean i want to continue to this make me money i'm not really using this as a town box or a cappuccino just to drive around and have fun and yes the car's turbo the car's fun the car's cool we're gonna add some new speakers here we added the nice steering wheel we added some nice fun stuff all around we got boost gauges and all that good stuff but i don't not looking at this as a car i'm looking at this as like a mobile home essentially like i want this to be bulletproof i want to be able to drive this all the way to alaska i know you guys think i'm joking but i drove a cappuccino all the way from california to new york if you don't think i'm going to drive something that's going to make me money i have no issue at all once this thing is 100 percent dialed in driving it really the rectangle my goal is to do a rectangle i've been telling people on patreon my goal is to go from new york to miami then Miami to San Diego, to San Diego, to Seattle, and then Seattle back to New York. I wanna do a full rectangle, stop at Austin, Texas, stop at Louisiana, stop at Atlanta, stop at Chicago, stop at Sacramento, stop at LA, stop at all the places. And I want this car to pop up at every place, have t-shirts, pins, stickers, hats, hoodies, you know, merch full of it. I want this car to be full of merch, including these shifter hoodies that are coming soon. And I want to make some money. The goal is to make some money at the end of the day. That's what this is about. If it was just building a cool car, I would have never spent $2,000 for this stupid window. But now, fast forward to everything that happened yesterday we were able to fix the coolant link i drove all the way home i wasn't leaking any coolant i didn't smell any coolant and i think that's 100 percent done so now that the squealing is gone now that the coolant is gone that beeping sound it didn't come back today it happened a little bit yesterday but i think it was really when teggy washed the car i think maybe water got on something and it started just tripping out i saw some people saying that it could have been maybe my door but even with the door closed while i was driving if you guys remember it was still making the sound so it couldn't be the fact that the door was open and the sensor to the door is here and we never even connected it so it's definitely not the door chime unless it got like hot somehow and it's making that sound but it's definitely not that we got the double din in here gps and everything works I even installed a backup camera. David added a mounting bracket there, so this is nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. And then, like I said, no more tape there. That's nice and secure. And then probably the biggest thing, something I had no idea how it was really going to get done, is we finally cut this box. And it was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But this just looks so good. Like, imagine just walking over to the store. Boom. This is your shot right here. You're walking over to the car. You see the steering wheels on the right side. You see this here, I got the seat, 
I would say at this point the car is maybe 65% done. There's definitely a lot of areas that need to be completed. I need to put some wood on both sides and then wrap that. This box, David's been telling me over and over to put a speaker. And I mean, I see where he's coming from. I think that there should be some sort of glove box or some sort of storage. He's telling me it doesn't really make sense for it to be storage seeing how the wheel well's there, but I'm not really trying to build the biggest storage box. I think it just looks clean like this. And seeing how this cutout is already there, I just want something that really just goes out and goes back in. I could put magnets and stickers and kind of the smaller stuff here. I need to do these tail lights. I think that's very high on the list. We need to fix the fuel. I think some people are saying that there's a line next to it. I'm going to look into that in the next video, but that's like maybe 15% of the struggle. And then I would say from there, honestly, there's little things like this, but I think the homie Chris in Australia is going to hold me down with that. I'm still waiting on some parts to come in for the car. I would love to clean this up. If anyone like, it's just so hard to find crash mirrors that have parts, but I would love to clean that up. I think at some point I want to get these two seats rear posted, but I wouldn't say that's a necessity. This one a little more than this guy because this seat is really comfortable. I just don't love that they're two different patterns. And not only that, this one, the foam on this side is just completely shot. So you're leaning like you see this. You're just leaning completely compared to this one that's nice and bolstered. I could touch the metal. Outside of that, I think there's very little things like, yeah, I want underglow. I want an intake. We added the strut bar. That makes a nice little difference. I don't feel like I'm gonna tip over all the time. Still gotta clean all this. Still gotta give it a full detail. I have a crack here. I mean, I actually, it's really bad here. I hope I don't need to repaint my hood, but this is kind of lifting, so that's not good. I'm not sure if, this is also wrap. I'm not sure if we maybe have to repaint the whole hood which maybe i take off the stripes maybe we add a hood scoop there i kind of like the classic look without the hood scoop but there's nothing here to really go straight into the okay. intercooler and i don't want to get heat soaked so there's that but yeah today yesterday great day i woke up today very happy to say i am the new proud not the new proud owner but i'm the proud owner of this i had to mirror walk through if you guys remember the very first day i picked this car up five blocks away from the port the throttle cable snapped so that was issue one then my fog lights didn't work. Then the wiper motor didn't work. Then we started squealing. Then we were squealing till a couple days ago. And then while we were squealing, I was leaking coolant. And it's been a crazy two months, but we weathered the storm. The car isn't complete, but it's a lot better. And I mean, I'm gonna drive it some more. We're gonna see if we can get some more things done. We're gonna see if we could troubleshoot some more issues. We still gotta fix the gas. But I think outside of that, the car is, it's ready to go. It's ready to rock and roll. It's ready to be seen to you guys. I really haven't brought it to any car meets. I haven't really shown anyone except the people who've been watching these videos. Thank you guys for watching. Road to 100K. Blueberry Lemon is soon to get a new nickname because it's now just a blueberry. Thank you guys for watching. Giveaway coming soon. Lots of fun videos coming soon. Road trip coming soon. Peace. Remember the name. This is for the fame.